Some humans have periods, some humans don't, but this human can't see her periods. So what do I do? Grab a cup of tea and let's chat disability. Today in this video we are chatting all things blind girls and periods and sorry if I'm slightly peering at the camera today I've got atrophine in my eyes which is an eye drop that dilates the pupil and relaxes the muscle because I'm having quite a lot of eye pain at the moment so yeah just a side note there for you but today we're chatting about periods how do I deal with my time of the month what do I do what are the cool tips and tricks that I have if you can't see your period, if you're blind? Let's go on with the video. Just because I lost my eyesight doesn't mean I lost my period, but it was quite a lot different for me to try and combat that from going from sighted 11 year old Lucy starting to have her period and that time of the month to Lucy who was blind at 17 and suddenly dealing with the whole of my life in a different way. So I wanted to check you through my whole experience of periods and what I do now. When I first got my period I was 11 years old and I remember being at a family friend's house and I knew what it was because of school, um, I knew that you get cramps and I was quite educated about it at that time, I was quite fortunate, I had quite a lot of education about it in primary school and in secondary school, I remember in year six which is the last year of primary school and then it just sort of in P PSHE which is social health education studies um, at secondary school so that was really good and I could see at the time I had one useful eye my left eye was still working at the time um because I don't know if you guys know if you haven't followed my journey for a while I actually went blind in my right eye at age 11 so I was dealing with all of that as well as my periods sort of interesting fact about me and my sight loss on my period journey whenever I had a period when I was younger it affected my eyesight it's really interesting I could never never really work out why it was happening and neither could the consultants or my family but it just seemed to be linked I linked at the time I had my hormones all raging and my retinas wouldn't like it and I would get bleeding in my eye as well as my time of the month so I remember as a, as a young girl hating my periods because of that reason um, and to be honest it still does give me a bit of discomfort I, st I see a bit of red and, and things now at my time of the month in my eyes it's just always been a factor consultants can't tell me why I don't know why it's just something that I learned to live with that my eyesight gets worse at that time of the month also, while the back of my eye was bleeding and I was having a period, I would get floaters, which are tiny little fireworks, if you like, that follow your eye line. And you just want to grab them and pull them out of the way, but they're really annoying. Some people mention to me when a camera flash goes off, you get them. Um, but I had them all the time and they were dark black and I just wanted to shove them out of the way when I was 11 to 17. It was so annoying. Um, and sometimes they'd appear, sometimes they'd go, sometimes I'd have them all of the time back then. Um, and they'd always get way worse when I had a period. I'd have loads of floaters, loads of spots, loads of tummy cramps. It was just not a good time. So my eyesight would go really, really crazy my cramps would get worse and no doctor on the planet could tell me necessarily that, that there was enough research for, to link the two but it was just interesting that that was happening for me we never knew why i remember actually going to my gp for the pill at quite a young age because me and my parents my sister thought maybe if i got on the pill it would sort of flatten out my hormones a little bit more and not cause the floaters and the and the eyesight loss at the time but to be honest the pill never really did anything and it was still crazy so I'll take you sort of forward to age 17 and having my period because obviously I lost my eyesight at age 17 so my period was a source of stress to me anyway because of the, the floaters but now I had to deal with it completely with no vision anymore um, and I remember I used to leak a lot there was one time actually in drama where I was so adamant that I'd leaked into my jeans and I was like I've got to go home I've got to go home and then when I asked my sister or my mom whether I had 
um because i remember my my mom picked me up from drama in the middle of the, of the school day and i was like oh have i leaked and she's like no actually you haven't but i had this paranoia that sometimes i would and i never necessarily usually did but it was just this anxiety that that came upon me at that time because i didn't know what was happening um and I, I was quite anxious about quite a lot of things first going blind and i think everything's heightened when you're sad and you're grieving the loss of eyesight then so i was a bit paranoid so suddenly i couldn't assess whether i needed a sanitary product anymore i felt really out of control um i had to assess my body in a different way because obviously took the pad on could see it could see whether there was any blood there fine dandy when you can see and I got obviously into that routine for about six years of my life and it was really hard to rewire my brain like like everything I had to do when I was blind I felt really unclean and rubbish all the time and I felt really low about it so I thought I can't deal with this at the moment I'm going to just take the pill I'm going to take the pill all the way through so I don't bleed um, and that was working for me for a good six months to a year um, because I was dealing with loads of other stuff, learning braille, you know, doing my A-levels and I thought, right, it's going to get out of the way. Um, I don't remember it being a massive issue when I, then, after I'd sort of sorted that out a bit more. But I came to a point where I was like, I just, I have to deal with this now. Um, I need to assess my body, how it is now and whether I can tell whether I'm bleeding or not without vision. At this time I felt really bloated and lethargic and I thought I've got to come off the pill and I've got to deal with non-sighted Lucy dealing with her periods. It's got to happen. How can I take control of this situation? How can I deal with a period and not see it? It's quite overwhelming for me. I remember trying a few different things but in the end I thought, I can't be anxious about this anymore, I'm going to take control of it. I'm going to have a tampon and a sanitary towel in and then I won't feel anxious, no matter how heavy or light my period is that month. So I've done that ever since. I really enjoy just feeling okay about that. Also, I have a sanitary towel in 13 days of the month, even though I only bleed maybe up to eight, nine. Two days before, two days after-ish. So if I'm a bit early, then I don't feel anxious. If I'm a bit late, I don't feel anxious. And I know the signals that my body sort of gives off. I know when I'm bleeding. I sort of tend to know how heavy it is as well, just because I've, I've got to know now that I've been nearly seven years blind and it's just a part of my body. I know how it works. I know also I get maybe a tiny bit ratty before my period and also what's really important for me is a calendar. I have my Apple calendar. Always track my period every however many days, 21 days, 25 days, 32 days, however long my cycle is. Um, it can change slightly, move around a bit but I tend to know um, and I don't mind admitting that I put a few more panty liners in than maybe the average woman who can see because I want to feel in control, I'm not anxious, it's great for me, that's fine. When I was about 18, 19, sorting out what my periods were doing, I was eating my feelings a lot and I will do another video on how I didn't feel very well in my brain at that time when I just lost my eyesight and I tended to overeat. But the reason that I mention that is because my periods got a lot heavier, I was leaking, and that's when, you know, I sort of had to say to myself, you have to deal with this. I began to know my body, I began to know the difference between period and discharge, I knew what my body was doing, I understood it, I felt more confident that I didn't have to see it, I didn't have this anxious feeling every time that I was going to leak because it was just normal now, it was routine, sanitary towels panty liners, tampons, always being prepared, having some in my bag, no matter what time of the month it is, just made me feel really confident. Also, the brand Always, or any scented products, make me feel more confident, because when I have my period, I know what the Always pad smells like when it's clean and when it's not. So that helps me just sort of know that it's there, that I'm bleeding and it's all good. I'd just rather feel secure and have lots of supplies and make sure 
that I wasn't anxious about my period and feeling quite liberated about it. Not just like, oh, I'm on my period, I can't do anything, I'm gonna leak, or I feel really blind today, I'm having a really blind girl day. I'd just rather think, right, well, I'll have a few more sanitary towels on just in case I bleed a couple of days before the calendar says that I'm gonna be on my period and it's all fine. So I love the Apple calendar, as I said, and I know that Apple are coming out with a period tracker calendar. I saw on VI Talk, which is a Facebook group, really recommend if you guys haven't subscribed or follow VI Talk that you need to go and do it because it's so good for information and knowledge about everything VI. So yeah, there was a lot of women slash people who have periods on VI Talk just discussing period trackers and what to do when you're blind. Can you track your period on one of these things? And to be honest, for me, Flow and Clue and everything, all of these different apps that track your periods aren't very accessible. They they aren't that good. I remember mentioning it on the video I did with Hannah Witten a couple of months back last year and just saying that it is hard to track your period. So I use Apple Calendar, but I know that Apple is coming out with one. It's hopefully gonna be accessible like the rest of the Apple phone is. I can't see why it wouldn't be. So check out for that and hopefully I will do a review on that if you want it. Let me know in the comments below how you track your period when you can't see because I think it's good to have a discussion um, and whether you feel liberated by your period, whether you don't like when your period comes, if you're newly blind, how do you deal with it? Maybe you deal with it differently to me. I'd be interested. I don't mind my period now. I think I've got lots of knowledge about it. I've decided a way that I'm gonna handle it, how I deal with it now. As I said, let me know in the comments your experiences. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you want more period videos, maybe more info on how I track things, let me know and I will see you very soon.